Anderson. Big hole. He's gone. Count it down. 20, 15, 10. Touchdown Vikings. Deep for Calvin Johnson. Who makes the catch? What are you going to do? Hey, somehow we blinked and it got to week seven already as we're getting ready for a Vikings-Lions matchup. MJD here. Yes. First, I want to set the record straight, MJD. I, I took a little heat on Twitter when we previewed the I Lions. I got your back, though. I appreciate that. I saw it. Talked about the Lions game uh, heading into week six, and I mentioned the arguable call on the Cowboys matchup. Look, the Lions now have a win. Let's focus on the positive for this team. Can't sleep on the Lions despite their poor record so far because this is a team with some weapons and hey had the uh, Chicago Bears figured out a way to stop Calvin Johnson maybe the outcome would have been different in week six well that's what Minnesota has to do they have to find a way to stop Calvin if you don't stop Calvin you're gonna lose and we saw that 166 yards this guy went on fire he was on fire 10 catches I mean the big play at the very end of the game right here you see it making a play Stafford trusting this guy throwing it down the field using that big arm this is who the Detroit Lions are. They're a prolific offense, throwing the ball around the yard. They take shots because they trust their outside receivers. They have to continue to do this in order to be successful. Yeah, Vikings, as you see, with the 14th ranked pass defense in the league, maybe wanting to step it up a little bit when they take on the Lions. Meanwhile, on the Lions side, how do you beat the Vikings? You got to use this momentum. The magic that you captured in, in Ford Field, on Ford Field, you have to be able to take it and use it against the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, to win that game at home was huge. It got you off the slide. You have one win. Use that momentum to keep going. You played well on defense. You played well on offense. Clean up some of the mental errors. They, they should be on the ready to roll. Well, maybe the momentum is in the hands of their quarterback in Matt Stafford, who was told in week, six, week five, rather, that, hey, look, you throw another pick, you're going to get benched. He did just that. He saw Orlovsky come in, who also did not play spectacularly well. Stafford, on a roll after this game, you have to think. Well, you have to. I mean, you throw for 400 yards. I mean, the guy had four touchdowns. He lit it up. He was on fire. Continue to improve on that. Take those chances when they present themselves, but don't be too careless with the ball. You'll have to protect the ball at all times. Again, get that running game going. That defense is playing pretty well. Yeah. Keep things up. I mean, I think it'll be okay. Divisional matchup, who wins it? Detroit. I had Detroit winning Two weeks this in a row. You're picking them. I got them two weeks in a row, man. It's crazy. All right. We're getting ready for week seven and the Lions versus the Vikings.